Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to this forum on New Hampshire retirement security and public pensions. And thanks for tuning in. Uh, with me here today, I have uh, Charles Kuntz, uh, former, former NHRS uh, board member, New Hampshire retirement system, that is. I have Jay Ward, who is uh, the political director of SEIU and SEA here in the state of New Hampshire. And I have Sam Giarusso, also a former uh, board member of the New Hampshire retirement system. So we're just going to have a really informal conversation about uh, pensions, the retirement system here in New Hampshire, and some of the, the recent and really prevalent issues uh, facing retirees and employees uh, here in the state. Uh, so let's just start with, with some of the basics. Why, why pensions? Why are pension systems so important uh, to providing Real, real security for employees and retirees, especially here in New Hampshire. Well, okay. uh, pensions have been an issue in history for a long time. I mean, what do people do in their old age when they are not as capable of um, supporting themselves? And the modern uh, system, as the uh, ages, uh, as people begin to live longer, uh, started in about 1643 in central Germany. Uh, where the state uh, decided to give pensions to widows. And that was followed by, uh, a couple of years later, by teachers. And then in the um, 1900s, uh, Bismarck imposed a uh, pension system on all citizens. Uh, in the United States, there were pensions for the Revolutionary War soldiers and for the Civil War soldiers. But it wasn't until the progressive era of the 1920s that pensions became a, a universal uh, form of, well, basically keeping older people out of poverty. Right, right. And Jay, so how, how does the New Hampshire retirement system, the pension system uh, in New Hampshire here work? Uh, who's involved? And, and give us a little bit of the history. Uh, of, of when it was established and, and how it works? Well, the, the pension system actually works very well in New Hampshire. It provides um, pension benefits for um, all public employees that are in the system, which is most every um, employer in the state, from schools to um, state employees to county municipal, local fire departments, um, local police departments, um, local uh, DPW, workers are all in the system and it provides a very good um, program to contribute money while you're working to a plan that will provide a known benefit when you retire. Right. right. So see, just to be clear, right, this, this is not just employers setting aside money. Employees are contributing too, right, to their own benefit. When, when you look at the New Hampshire retirement system, the brunt of the money uh, that has come into the system has come in through the employees. Their amount is fixed. The employer's amount is on a sliding scale. So example for teachers in the state of New Hampshire, the employer has contributed over the last 30 some odd years a little less than 5% where the employee has contributed consistently 5% and this year it's up to 7%. Right. And the thing about the, the plan is Currently, the New Hampshire retirement system um, is worth about $5.9 billion, which is a lot of money. It will pay um, benefits long into the future. And the efficiency of the, the plan is that 75% of that $5.9 billion was derived on return on investment. So in an ideal world, the employee would put in something like 12.5%, the employer would put in something like 12.5%, but the bulk of the, the money in the system would be from return on investment. Right. And that's the beauty of the, the um, retirement system. Right. And so you mentioned that, that $5.9 billion uh, dollar figure, that's a big number. What are some of the economic benefits of a pension system, of the New Hampshire retirement system in particular? Uh, outside of simply providing benefits uh, to retirees and retirement well, security? Well, one of them is, is that retirees don't have to leave the state to go someplace where it's warmer. They can stay, and uh, they can afford to pay for their gas and oil and heat and groceries. And, of course, that helps everybody else in the state 
because it provides money for economic activities. I, I th also think that one of the major economic components of a, a pension system is first, it recycles the workforce. It takes older people out of the workforce so that younger people can get into the workforce, and it also provides stimulus to the economy. Uh, the New Hampshire retirement system uh, retirees probably contribute close to six hundred million dollars every year in the New Hampshire economy. So we're a big economic stimulus package a and this is from people that are not working. This is from people that are retired which means new people are in the workforce paying taxes, uh, gaining a benefit as well as contributing. Right, right. Well I think you know I think there are a couple popular myths out there about pensions and the retirement system in general and the retirement system in New Hampshire one being that pensions are only available to public employees, and then two, that in, the New, in New Hampshire, the retirement system is providing huge, huge uh, pensions uh, to a lot of public employees. There's been a lot of attention around that. Uh, there's been some attention around that recently with the union leader. And if you guys could just sort of debunk those myths for me. Well, the first one is the benefit. Uh, in the state of New Hampshire, the state of New Hampshire pension is not like a lot of the pensions throughout the country. It is a uh, average or below average pension amount. Example, for a teacher, you would work 30 years and get the highest 50% uh, of your average three years. Uh, also, there is no guaranteed cost of living raise. Also, there is no medical benefit that is defined with a teacher. Right. So what happens is you work 30 years, you get 50 percent. Right. right. And the average state employee retiring um, will have a, just about $12,000 a year in pension. That's the average. Of course, you have the outliers that um, have made a lot of money, and usually those are um, commissioners or yeah. um, But that, that average is certainly a revealing statistic that, that pensions are, are, are very uh, modest and moderate. Um, Chuck, one other thing I would add, not to just sure. jump in here, but the one thing we neglected to say is for Group 1 employees, they lose 10% of their pension at age 65. Right. right. And that's a great segue. Let's sort of uh, delineate for folks a little bit. What is the difference between Group 1 and Group 2 employees in the New Hampshire retirement system, and how does that, how does that work? Group one um, is the uh, non-law law enforcement or um, uh, firefighter, uh, and that's a typical 30-year pension. Mm -hmm. And again, as we had said, the employee contributes on every paycheck, the employer contributes, and at the end of 30 years, they'll have a set amount of um, benefit. In group two, uh, group two is a um, benefit that is a little higher, but they don't contribute to Social Security. So w when you retire in group two, uh, after 20 years, what happens is uh, you can't collect Social Security, you haven't contributed to it, uh, and you've also contributed a higher amount into your pension uh, to prepare for that pension that is a multiplier of two and a half percent. So an average group two person would uh, get 50% of their salary after 20 years at retirement age. Right. And those are for the law enforcement, the, the police officers that are um, out in the streets, the firefighters that are out there fighting the fires. The longevity is not as high, typically, as a desk job. Right. So it recognizes the nature of the, of the um, job itself. Right. Uh, I also think not receiving Social Security, uh, a really key point especially when we talk about some of these reforms that are being debated right now.